Well, the big news that we are tracking this our realtor Gangadasa barely managing to survive there after it is understood that his first wife, in connivance with his brother in law, came together to go ahead and castrate him. He is currently being treated at the Kim's hospital. In fact, earlier, just a couple of minutes ago, we did speak to Gangadasa by himself, who went on uh, to give us more details on exactly what took place. In fact, uh, my colleague Deepak, who has been closely tracking uh, this case, also met with the victim. Deepak if you could take us through exactly what Ganga Dasapa is saying, what exactly took place? Uh, well, Akshita, quite shocking what's exactly happened now. Uh, Ganga Dasapa, uh, he, he claims that about 8.30 he was uh, on his way from Magri towards Kunigal. That's when about four people in an Indica uh, stopped him on his way. Uh, they, uh, they, they asked him for a ransom. That's when he somehow managed to escape uh, getting an auto which was close by. He went to the police station, informed the police about what exactly happened. However, the police, uh, even even these four people who tried to kidnap him, they, they also made their way to the police station. They went and told the police that it was an internal matter. He owed them a, a particular amount of money and he is not returning it from a long time and they're just questioning him regarding the same. The police asked him to go out of the police station saying it is an internal matter, uh, sort it out, return the money and uh, they did not pay he to his plight at that time. Now, he then claims that these people then took him out of the police station once they uh, went uh, uh, for a, a certain distance. That's when they, they got hold of him, put him in the car, took him inside after they reached uh, about another five kilometers from the police station near Sunkat Kate. That's where they uh, forcibly made him uh, drink a bottle of water and also a tablet, uh, he claims, which uh, was supposed to make him drowsy and uh, probably uh, make him unconscious. But however, for, for the next 20 minutes, he was conscious. He also uh, allegedly heard them saying, well, is, he, is he unconscious? Is he sleeping yet? When he was not, that's when they decided to tie him up. They tied his hands up, they tied even his eye so that he could not, uh, they covered up his eye and also put a monkey cap on him so that he could not see where they were going. He also recalls a faint memories of uh, what exactly happened uh, where he was taken to a hospital which had a steel, uh, a steel staircase, that's what he claims. He then went on top. Uh, finally, when he woke up in the morning, he claims that he even uh, saw a person called Kavita who was a government teacher in the same village that he stayed. Now, he believes that somehow Kavita is also involved in this particular case and his first wife and her brother have gone on to do this where they took him to a private hospital and uh, chopped off his genitals and when he woke up in the morning, one of the most uh, rude shock awaited him, Akshita. Right, uh, Deepak, thank you so much for joining us with uh, all those details. So there you have it, uh, the victim going ahead and narrating his uh, horror tale, taking us through exactly what took place. Uh, it is understood that the police have been briefed of exactly what happened, but uh, no action taken as of yet. They are still conducting investigations, is what we understand. And also, let's listen in to what uh, uh, Ganga Dasapa's second wife had to say. Magri thavinda kidnap madka mande tipka nali idra thra nils puti karne bata kati monkey to monkey topi ayak puti balwan thi thinda nidhe matra nungus puti anje nagre dali ro kavita madam maat kandi idran ta drol gade nam friend kavita madam nam teacheru nam mudgur teacher anti elti thera oru aur school alo thi nam pasne wife or maklo. Adrinda or Parche and the Kavita Madana Mesmandruge. Our Manelli, our Bandi, your Karatra, Atkandi, your Pakteli, our Karko Nodru and Gastri Gavnukira, the Balwantu in the Nidha Matra Nungus Putru, Sugna Liatra Krasa, the Astron and Gutira, the Astroman, Nidha Vanburtu, Utnan and Aspetlu, Ogbekar, Aspetlu, Manana Gutil, Almarstaka, Kumbi Metlatkonda, then the Matra Altida, Aspetlu Gutilanti and Utrantarka, by Drasela Bichputi Kaikal Kati. Operation Mount either a bad egg or operation Madi the Rentan and Gotta Gila Nungi Pain Stata the Gaidu were Argentine Pain Stata the Avak, but Kal Shuru, the Avagauru, our Bame the Kumar and the Thai Randon Maga, Auni Fon Madi, Kashir and Taunu, Ate Aure Karali, Karkamandili, Campego Hospital, Gadmet Maduagi, or Inna Bandilauru, Amel Tirgauru, Campego Hospital, Terbeka and Mesman to Fon Madi Dru. Illa nan kai lai thila sathok burti nanu ban buri. Alla aru nan mor yar illa yarun theur godak thila nan gain thandro. Amel thirga nan Australia bar Australia ur alla thandi aspet laga kiro. Amel thirga illik ban nordre. Ma ag agala nan ge tumbak critical idhe yen agu thento godti la na yen yada kagala nta doctor idro. Amatte yi gonsal pa. Just kiva ag buti the sir adhe yen agu thento munde godti la yen yarado nan yen yada kagti la urge. 
And moving on, the CBI has arrested M. Manuniti Cholan, the registrar of companies in Chennai, on a bribery charge. He allegedly took 10 lakh rupees from M. A. M. Ramaswamy, who is the chairman of the Chetinad Group, to stall a takeover of the group. My colleague Arun now joins us over the phone lines with more details. Uh, Arun, yet another case of corruption. It is understood that uh, 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 this particular person has also been taken into custody. That's right, uh, Akshita. In fact, uh, we are given to believe that the uh, none other than the CBI was keeping a tab on this particular person called Manu Nidhi Cholan, who is the registrar of companies in Chennai. And uh, the issue on hand was basically a provision, uh, a resolution which was to have been passed in yesterday's annual general meeting of uh, Chetinad Cements. Uh, remember, Chetinad Group, which is owned by M. A. M. Ramsamy, uh, or uh, who is also nicknamed and called the Raja of Chetinad, is a 4,000 crore uh, business group. So there have been allegations that uh, his adopted son, Ramaswamy's adopted son, M. A. M. M. A. M. R. Muttaya is the one who is keen to take control of the affairs of the uh, group. And uh, there was some rumor floating in the air suggesting that uh, in yesterday's uh, annual general meeting of the shareholders, this proposal would come up. And uh, the idea was to actually uh, defeat the proposal. And to do so, the uh, ROC or the Registrar of Companies was requested to uh, lend a friendly hand. And uh, for that reason, Actually, M.M. M. Ramaswamy's side is reported to have paid money and the Anti-Corruption Bureau uh, people, in fact, uh, uh, intercepted the car of Mr. Uh, Manu Nidhi Cholan when he was traveling after collecting the money. And uh, they have been able to recover close to, about, uh, close to about 20 lakhs in cash and a hard disk. Uh, and also, as we speak, we are given to believe that uh, the Jetinard House, the official residence of M.A.M. Ramaswamy, has also been uh, searched to figure out if there are any other incriminating documents, uh, Akshita. Right, uh, Arun. Uh, also, of course, we do understand that it almost seems like uh, uh, the clan fight among uh, the Ramaswamy has taken a toll on the Chennai Registrar as well with corruption now coming to the fore. That's right, uh, because remember he is a government servant, uh, the ROC is a government servant. Uh, he was uh, being uh, tracked very closely and uh, it is given to believe that the, uh, RO, um, the CBI, beg pardon, was actually uh, keeping tabs on his phone calls and was able to figure out that uh, there was something amiss. And when they probed it further, the role of the ROC came to light, Akshita. Right, uh, Arun, thank you so much for joining us with uh, all those details. A big arrest there. The CBI going ahead and arresting uh, Manuniti Cholan after he uh, reportedly accepted a bribe of 10 lakh rupees from MAM Ramaswamy. Remember, uh, Ramaswamy has also been uh, made and accused uh, in the FIR as the bribe giver, but he has not been taken into custody is what we understand. And moving on, a group of students have taken selfies to dizzying heights, quite literally. Now, we had better give you a warning. Your head might start spinning after taking a look at this video. It's slightly unsettling, but then again, this team seems a little bananas to begin with. Well, the trio of Daniel Lau, Andrew Saw and A.S. are shown looking fearless and comfy atop Hong Kong's fifth tallest building. It is 1,135 feet tall. These photo enthusiasts used a wide angle lens and a selfie stick. And yes, that's what it's called. To celebrate the breathtaking view, they consumed some bananas. And this just might, might be the beginning of a, a new, possibly ill-advised selfie trend. Well, we just hope that they didn't slip on those banana peels on the way down. Sometimes your eyes speak louder than your mouth. How do you get up on top of that building? 
You'd make me dizzy. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Well, they probably got great reception up there. Yeah, well, they're up there. They might as well have a snack. I mean, they yeah. want energy, <laughs> energy. Energy. Yeah. Potassium. Potassium, exactly. This is a Guinness Book of World Records stunt. They want to be the highest person ever to eat a banana. They act like they're King Kong. <laughs> that feels like a long way up to go eat a banana. And while the current hype on social media is people dousing themselves with ice water, well, this phenomenon has become so viral around the globe that celebrities, sports stars, CEOs and high-ranking officials have taken the challenge to brave the ice water. Now, we have brought this viral trend to Bengaluru. Take a look at how RJ Bajosh took up the dare. What's up, Namaskaram Bengaluru? This is RJ Pujosh from 94.3 Radio 1. I have been nominated to take up the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge by RJ Pavitra. So, very, very willingly and gracefully, I did accept the challenge. Ah, it's a very noble cause. People around the world are doing it. So, I thought, let me pitch in. I'm going to dump the water and also donate. You should do your share to ALS.org. That's the website you need to log on to. So, without further ado, I can feel it. I can feel it. Mm -hmm. Are we ready? I'm going to tell you who the three people are after I throw the bucket of water on me. All right, ready? Here we go. Ah! <laughs> okay, I'm going to nominate Carlton Braganza, my good friend Percy Andrew D'Souza, and RJ Anjan, who's in Dubai, to take up the challenge. You have 24 hours to oblige. Thank you so much. If you have taken up the Ice Bucket Challenge, send us your video with your name and area and rest assured that we will play it on our channel. WhatsApp your video to 998094538 or post it on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash news9live.